Hello, my friends. In the last videos, we have already learned the Shun connected motor. In this video, we are going to continue with this topic, but uh, the focus will be placed on serial, serious connected motor. So what does serious connected motor mean? Suppose your motor has uh, two sets of winding, right? Uh, just like any other motor. Uh, yes, uh, you have a, uh, uh, the armature resistance here. And you have a armature rotate, yeah? armature back EMF. Then the armature is going to be connected in series with the field. So this is the main topology, the main ingredients of a serious connected motor. In a serious connected motor, the, uh, the current here uh, is the fuel current. And this fuel current will be shared equally with the armature. So uh, IF here will be equal to IA, where IA stands for the fuel current. So in this case, uh, the total voltage here is going to be EA, yeah, pass the uh, voltage drop across the armature resistance and also the fuel resistance. So in this case, IA, RA plus RF. So this is the main concept of the uh, series connector motor. Now, another important thing that we need to know is the uh, the um, the concept of um, the power. Uh, in a normal circumstances, the mechanical power which is equals to T omega, should be equals to EA times IA. So this is the uh, ideal situation, right? The mechanical power is going to be the same as the electrical power, which is given by the armature voltage times the armature current. So in this case, uh, it's fair to suggest that um, EA itself, the armature, uh, can be written as T omega divided by IA. So if this is the case, eh, we can substitute it to the original equation, say equation one. Uh, so substitute uh, EA into one and see what happened. T omega IA and then plus IA R a, R, F, right? And multiply them together. Now, I think it's pretty clear now. Um, IA may be dependent on the speed, but that doesn't matter. We can quickly fix the problem. Omega here is going to be a 
VD minus So this is the um, uh, IA divided by T. So this is the main relations for the Serious collector motor. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's see if there's anything wrong. That doesn't make sense. Uh, R A R F is not going to change. Right? The only thing that is changing is I A. To be honest with you. Um, if we change the omega, IA is going to change. Yeah, it doesn't matter now. Uh, um, so one thing for sure, right? Uh, Omega here is proven to be inversely proportional to 1 over t. So we, we are going to plot the speed against the thought. We are going to get a uh, a kind of relations here, like this. So this is the uh, relations between um, the motor and speed. Huh? So uh, in the absence of any law, um, the speed is going to be very high. So when the um, when the low the low torque is established, then the speed is going to be very low. So in other words, right, we can at least draw a few conclusions here. The number one conclusion that we can draw based on the interpretation of this equation or the outlook of this graph is that. The range of speed, range of speed variation is very large. Speed variation is large. So this is the number one point that we have to pay attention to. Um, another thing that we know from this graph is uh, the starting thought has to be can be very uh, very large, right? Um, is it correct? Okay, the starting thought. Yeah, the starting thought is large. Uh, okay, I think uh, that's all about the serious connected motor. If you have any question, uh, please leave your question to the 
comments box underneath the video. Thank you very, very much for your support.